in this video i'm gonna drop three epic tips the last one is actually gonna be a strategy that i'm learning to start out with not only just a strong youtube channel but i'm also going to use it to lay out my plan of getting 50,000 youtube subscribers in 2019 let's get it hey what's going on guys this is nathan earl and don't forget to hit that subscribe button tick the bell icon and if you find anything helpful in this video be sure to let me know in the comments and i got a lot of information to drop on you today so make sure you're taking notes and let's get into it all right guys so obviously this youtube channel is nothing new all right i've had it for over three years the last couple of videos were just kind of like me trying to figure out the system and how to get it up there and, and kind of create content because i knew it was a great platform to get on but I never really learned what I needed to do. So since uh, January of 2019, which is just uh, last month, because right now it's February, um, since then I started really taking this seriously. I really started learning of the things that I needed to do. I started researching, I started buying courses, and I'm just going absolutely crazy with learning YouTube. So in order to build a solid YouTube channel, which I'm gonna be doing, and I hope you're following along with, there's a couple things I'm gonna be going over, and some of the things I'm gonna cover are how to optimize your channel and your videos to effectively compete with already ranked videos and competitive channels all right i'm going to teach you how to produce content consistently by using the batching method which allows you to create more content in less time saving you time and energy throughout the week in this video i'm also going to teach you a strategy that i am learning and it is going to be the most effective strategy that I'm going to be implementing as such a small channel starting out right now. And it's called the sequel strategy, where we're actually going to siphon off viewers from already successful YouTube videos and channels. And last but not least, I'm going to teach you how to actually plan out your videos instead of just winging it to not only keep your viewers attention, but to increase your videos watch time, which is going to be a huge factor in your videos and your visibility over YouTube in general. Also, for those of you who want to stick through my entire video, I'm going to be throwing in some bonus information on why I'm setting my goal at 50,000 subscribers in 2019, as well as how I actually plan to accomplish that. So that's something you're not going to want to miss out. So stick around. With that said, let's get into tip number one, which is how to optimize your channel to effectively compete against your competitors' channels and videos. All right, so obviously starting out a YouTube channel isn't all glamour and fun. And the first thing that we got to push through is the dry setup. Once we make it through this step, we're home free for the rest of the awesome content I've got planned out for this video. So just make it through this and then we'll we'll get on to the cool fun stuff. All right. So when it comes to YouTube and creating a YouTube channel, the entire purpose of producing content is to be found. Right. So this is why I'm starting over with the same channel. I'm starting over uh, is because what I was doing wasn't exactly what I needed to be doing and I didn't know that so you don't really know what you don't know uh, so this is the last couple months I've been studying and I've really opened up my mind to the things that I need to be doing and now I would like to uh, repay everything that I've been learning back to those who've been teaching it to me as well as teaching those who are at the exact same spot starting out at square one now I do have just about uh, 200 subscribers I believe right now so it's not a whole lot you can get on Facebook you can ask some people to come follow you and then within a couple videos you should be able to get a few subscribers all right so at this point if you're just starting out on YouTube your goal isn't to you know get hundreds and thousands of views per video and hundreds of thousands of subscribers all right now yes I do have a goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I'm definitely gonna work my butt off to get that but the, the entire focus is to be creating solid content and getting found. All right. So create awesome, solid content, which I'm learning to do myself, um, which, by the way, if I'm doing a good job, feel free to leave a comment whenever you want. And I will reply to that comment. Uh, that's my big goal right now is to reply to every single comment I get and uh, just build off of that constructive criticism. So I would really appreciate that. But like I was saying, when it comes to uh, building a YouTube channel, the entire purpose is to create awesome content and get found, all right? Because we want our channel to be found, we want people to watch our videos, eventually actually go to our channel page, uh, learn more, and eventually leading to subscribing. Uh, that's the process. We want people to come find us, learn from us a little bit, and eventually subscribe. Because we want those people to find us, there's a few key things that we got to set up before that can happen. And we just need to make sure this is done because we really want to be found by the people we are trying to be found by, if that makes sense. 
Now, another question that I've seen as well as had myself is when you're starting out with a YouTube channel, are you going to use your name and personal brand or are you going to create a brand name? So for example, I'm Nathan Earl and this is the Nathan Earl channel, but I actually own a company and a brand called Streaming Prosperity. In fact, if you look underneath uh, this, this fake computer uh, overlay that I've thrown on this video, if you look, instead of an Apple logo, I have my Streaming Prosperity logo. So you can brand with your actual brand if you would like to create a brand and go that way. Um, that's what you can call your YouTube channel or you can do what I'm doing and just a uh, personal brand to yourself. That doesn't mean you can't throw in a little bit of your uh, brand as well, which I would recommend you do and just kind of like tie in your brands. All right. So don't make that a huge deal if you're going to name like don't waste a lot of time trying to figure out what you're going to name your YouTube channel. Make it personal. Make it something you can stand by, but make sure that it's something you can move past. All right. Another huge tip as we're getting going is make sure that you're focusing on one platform at a time. All right. Yes, I am fairly new to YouTube and I'm completely starting out essentially from scratch. Yes, I have a few older videos. I'm not going to go back and delete them. Uh, they're not that good and that's fine because that is a reminder to me of where I'm going, where I started from, where I want to go. And eventually, maybe someday I'll have like 100,000 subscribers and I can look back and go, man, that was square one. So that's okay. Like, I want you to have these things as well. I want you to be able to just knock out content and just follow along with me as I'm learning and just start producing content. And you can look back and you can see, you know, I didn't do that very well. You know, I could have done this better. This was really cool. I don't know how I did it, but I'm going to try to recreate it. You see what I mean? So just, just don't worry about judgment. Don't worry about bad things happening. Don't worry about bad content. Um, crap happens <laughs> you know especially when you're learning it, it's gonna happen so just have fun with it and make sure that you are uh, not wearing yourself thin all right so what I'm trying to say is focusing on one platform at a time is huge right now because when you're starting out if you are trying to focus on Facebook Instagram YouTube and doing all this stuff and you're just spreading out your time everywhere like I have okay I've done that I've been there you're not really progressing in one specific focused area all right if you take a laser and point it's really focused but if you take a flashlight and hit it you know it, the light kind of spreads out you you hit more but at a much shorter distance and it doesn't really it's not that effective for staying targeted all right so just make sure you're uh, focusing on one specific platform now my first platform was Facebook and I got really good at Facebook I did a whole bunch of stuff with Facebook I actually built a pretty successful affiliate as well as digital product business through my own personal Facebook and my uh, Facebook page all right but the the problem with Facebook is it's very limited as far as the audience that finds you all right so this is why I'm learning YouTube is because not only do I want to teach people in a more uh, personal manner but I also want to build a, an entire platform, build an empire with YouTube because it is such a uh, high search engine. So people trying to find something, I can create content and it continues to work for me over and over and over and over. So if I create something that helps people, that they keep finding me, then I can continue to help people. And one of my life goals is to help a million people, to positively influence one million people. All right, and this is why I'm starting my YouTube channel over. So to get back into the point, just focus on one platform and the name's not really going to be that big of a deal. Just make sure that it's uh, something that you can stick with, that you can stand by and that you can grow um, and then you can kind of be persistent with this. All right. The, the name really is not going to affect your visibility as far as getting noticed that much. All right. In, in fact, most people don't really look at the names. They'll look at the, the title and the thumbnail and then they'll click to a video and then they'll notice your actual channel. All right. So unless you're a big channel that, you know, everybody wants to look for you specifically, uh, your name's really not going to matter a whole lot starting out. All right. So in order to optimize your channel to compete with competitors effectively, the first thing that you need to do is figure out their channel keywords. So if you want to be found by people that are already watching YouTube videos and channels, doesn't it make sense that you would want to actually use the same keywords as those videos and channels so that you show up in the suggested videos and suggested channels boxes? Yeah, it's it's an absolute no brainer. Of course, you should absolutely be using similar or if not the same keywords on your channel that your competitors are using on theirs as well as the video tags. All right. 
I'll explain more in a second. In order to find a channel's keywords, you're gonna have to be able to look at the source code of the page or a really helpful tool, which I'll show right here, is called VidIQ. And in the link in the description below, you can actually go get it. It is a Google Chrome extension, which will allow you to see insights of your competitors' videos, rankings. You can also see their keywords and most importantly, the tags for their videos and their channel. So VidIQ is what I use and it's absolutely awesome. It also gives you uh, SEO and keyword suggestions as well as a template when you're putting your videos together. It helps you make sure that you're getting the title done, that you're sharing on Facebook, that you're writing the right size description, all this stuff. It literally helps you build and optimize when you're posting your video, all right? So super important tool. I highly recommend you go get it. All right, so once you get vidIQ from the description below, if you haven't already, you can use that link. Uh, but once you get vidIQ, you go ahead and go into uh, YouTube, which I'll, I'll go ahead and pull up a YouTube page for you right here. So once you're on YouTube and you have vidIQ, which if you you have to use Google Chrome, all right, and then it'll show up right here and it'll say vidIQ once you ex install it to Google Chrome. Okay, you're going to have to install it, log in to your vidIQ account, and then log into your YouTube account. Once that's done, so I'm going to go ahead and say if I were to try to rank for affiliate marketing, right? I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And then there's going to give you a couple videos. Now, bear in mind that this is an ad. This ad is just showing at the top of the list because they are paying for that keyword right here. All right. You, you don't want to try to rank off of that one. What you want to do is look at this one because this is the, the, the first one underneath an ad that doesn't say ad is the number one search result. All right. So we can see right here he's got, you know, almost 300,000 subscribers. He posted this video one week ago and he's got uh, 6.2 thousand views all right so another thing we can see is uh, this guy right here Roberto Blake he's got you know 389 thousand subscribers uh, this video has gotten 92 thousand views since he posted it six months ago okay so what I would do is I would go through and find the first uh, three or four videos that I would like to compete for uh, as far as the the videos that I create as well as my channel itself so what I want to do is figure out what kind of tags they're using. So a huge affiliate marketer that I know is I'm actually going to go uh, Deadbeat Super Affiliate, which is one of the big guys for affiliate marketing. I'm going to go ahead and go to his channel. And then you can just click any video you want. Oh. What's up, Dan? Dan's actually uh, one of the guys that I've learned from. I've bought uh, some stuff from him. and He's pretty knowledgeable, but... Right here, I can go ahead and take his channel tags. So this is vidIQ, this is how this works. Uh, this whole little dashboard gives me all the statistics of this video and the channel and whatnot, right? So I can see his video tags, but what I wanna do is I'm trying to take his channel tags. So this right here is what he's using for his channel tags. That's pretty cool. So what you can do with uh, vidIQ is you can actually take the channel tags and you can just copy them and if you want, you can just put them into a spreadsheet or whatever. Uh, you could just write them down. But I would make sure that you copy these. And then I'd go back and I'd say like affiliate marketing. I'd see. So Freedom Influencer. I'll probably click on this video. And what we're trying to do is just we're just trying to get the tags from the channels, not the video tags. We just want the channel. All right. So this right here, we can see that he's got uh, his name. Uh, the brand name, the, the YouTube channel, make money online, personal development, entrepreneur, work from home, social media, marketing, motivation. All right. So if you were trying to specifically target affiliate marketing, that might not be the best channel tags. But what you can do is take some of these because we're going to use a strategy later on that actually targets your channel as a suggested channel to these guys. All right. And one of the ways you do that is by using the same tags as them. All right. So go ahead and write those down and do that for the top three or four uh, channels for your search term. All right. So once you have those terms, what you can go ahead and do is click up here in the top right corner. And then if you go down to YouTube studios, it'll actually take you to the page that you can work on your YouTube channel. All right. And what you'll, you're going to want to do is go down to settings. And then right here in settings, you can click on channel. And this right here is my keywords. Um, I'm actually going to 
uh, adjust my channel keywords because uh, <laughs> like I said I'm literally starting over from scratch with my YouTube channel um, and I'm going to be updating everything like you should be doing and I'm gonna set it up right and I figured I might as well just show you guys as I do it all right so right here in the keywords you're gonna want to put a handful of closely picked keywords to those channels all right so I'm gonna go ahead and keep I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get rid of life coach life mentor uh, so entrepreneur so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my name in here just in case somebody ever tries to find me so I'll do Nathan Earl affiliate marketing uh, I'm gonna do online marketing I'm gonna do marketing automation make money online and then online entrepreneur so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that for my keywords um, and what this is gonna do is basically associate me with all those other channels that I was looking at alright so then you can just go ahead and hit save also when you're putting in those keywords a big thing that you need to not do is make them like super broad so if you're saying like say your channels on cooking right you don't want to do like a million different types of cooking you, you don't want to do like uh, I don't know Cajun cooking Chinese cooking uh, Italian cooking and all these different things uh, for tags what you want to do when you're starting out is just focus on one type and just use different variants of that one type all right so like I was doing I was just doing online marketing digital marketing and affiliate marketing just because those are essentially you can tie them into the same thing all right so the skill sets all apply to the three different topics okay so I would recommend entering, you know, maybe eight to 10 keywords tops. I'll go ahead and go back in here and see how many I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I literally, <laughs> just like that. So uh, they say recommended keywords is eight to 10. Um, I'm right at eight. So you don't want to go too crazy with it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. And then once you're done with that and you got your keywords in there, go ahead and just hit save. All right, so once you've entered your channel keywords, the next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and hover over other settings, and you're going to see these three things. All right, now, granted, this in, is in uh, YouTube Studio Beta, so they might change this, but it should still be under settings and then other settings, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open all three of these in different tabs, all right? just right clicking and saying open in a new tab okay so the first tab that opened was the advanced tab or the the advanced settings tab all right so right here you should be able to see your little profile picture if you have one if not you can upload one you can see your country and then you'll also see the uh, keywords the channel keywords that you just entered all right so those will pop up right here and the reason there's uh, quotations around some of them is if you put a single word that's just targeting for that phrase but or that keyword but if you're using a phrase where you put in more than one word it'll put them in quotes so that you show up as a phrased keyword for that all right so what we're gonna want to do is just uh, make sure that your keywords are in there scroll down you don't have to have a website or anything plugged in right now but if you'll see right here where it says channel recommendations there's a little button uh, a little bubble right next to allow my channel to appear in others channels recommendations alright this is huge so you definitely want to click that and make sure that you are allowing YouTube to show your channel and the recommended channels on other people's channels alright if that makes sense so when other people watch someone else's channel if your channel is related to that channel you there's a chance that you could show up and they can come through and find you okay and then lastly if you have a Google Analytics uh, profile which I highly re recommend that you should have go ahead and create a new property and you can throw that uh, property tracking ID right there so that you can get more in-depth information about your viewers all right which like I said it's highly recommended that you do that all right once you have all that done go ahead and hit save so again just to recap really quick on this page the only thing you should really have to make sure that is done is the allow my channel to appear in others recommendations this is gonna be huge for my strategy in 2019 on getting my first 50,000 subscribers. All right, now I'm gonna be doing a lot. I'm gonna tell you guys everything I'm doing along the way, so make sure that you're subscribing. Take that bell icon so that you get notified as I go. And I, I really wanna see you guys grow in your channels with me as I'm learning, and I'm, I'm hoping I can do something for you guys, all right? So, like I was just saying, this, this 
little button right here is a huge, huge, huge portion of a new channel getting noticed in YouTube in today's world, all right? Because you can't just rank for search results right off the bat, okay? So this is this is where our fire is at. This is what's gonna get us going, okay? So once you're done with this and you hit saved, you can go ahead and close this tab and you can go ahead and see this next tab that opens up and it is branding, all right? So branding, sometimes you'll see in a YouTube video that you watch, you'll see a little logo for their channel or whatever in the bottom corner, okay? Now, a lot of people are using little brands, but sometimes you'll see where people, that's a subscribe button, where it'll just say subscribe now or like YouTube subscribe. Um, the reason being when people click on that, that little watermark icon that pops up on their videos, that takes them directly to the channel page where they and subscribe, all right? Because of that, Let's just go ahead and make this what it is. It is literally a subscribe button. It's it's the whole purpose is to get people to go to the channel, watch the channel trailer, watch the uh, entrance video, whichever you set that for, or if you have a channel trailer, which I'll talk in another video about. What what's gonna happen is they're gonna go to your channel and you want them to subscribe. So let's just make it a subscribe button. All right. So go ahead and hit add watermark, and then what you you're gonna need a. Uh, subscribe button PNG which has a transparent background now you can go to Google just type in uh, YouTube subscribe button PNG and just download a random one or in the description I, I just give you guys the same one I'm gonna use um, it's just a direct link from another website so this one right here we go ahead and open that and it's it's a PNG right there and then you just hit save and this right here, it'll show you what it looks like, all right? So then we'll just hit save. Now, anytime somebody watches our channel, boom, right there, it'll say subscribe. So someone can see that and then they'll click that and subscribe. Also, it's just a reminder. Uh, people, from what I've been learning, people just legitimately forget to subscribe. Even if they find a channel or a video that's really helpful, uh, they just, they get caught up with the content or they get caught up with uh, suggestions or life happens like it does to all of us and they just, lose their spot right just having that little subtle reminder to subscribe um, really helps a lot all right one of my mentors he actually swapped his logo out for subscribe button and it increased his subscriptions by 68 percent all right so that's pretty crazy lastly on the branding uh, where it says display time just go ahead and say entire video that way it'll pop up throughout the entire video and it'll just be there all right so we're going ahead and hit update this is one of those little tips where a lot of people just don't really think about and because one of my mentors told me it's such a big deal and it's it really helps um that kind of helped me get through uh me being a youtube noob i guess you could call it a noob tube or a you noob whatever you want to call it <laughs> um somebody who's new at starting out they'll probably see this and they think oh hey cool now i got to come up with a logo to put here Nope, just put it as a subscribe button and move on. These are the little tips that I'm dedicating to learning in 2019. Now, my plan is for the first six months, it's, it's just going to be learning, all right? I know this video is not going to be perfect. I know my next one's not going to be perfect. I know nothing's going to be perfect for a very long time. And even then, I don't think I'll even ever get perfect because there's always things you can improve. But for now, you know, I'm just... I'm using a green screen and I can throw on whatever overlays I want. I can make the background disappear to save a uh, spot on the screen while I hang out in the corner of your video pointing and making weird faces. Whether that's quality product compared to some people's opinion or it's uh, absolutely annoying, I don't know and I personally don't really care. I just want to create content to get myself used to not only doing it but also helping people and they'll naturally give me feedback. So if I'm doing something that's annoying people, I'll figure that out. If I'm doing something that people absolutely love, I'll figure that out. But the whole purpose right now is to just learn and grow. And that's why I'm doing these. That's why I'm dedicating this. And I'm I'm truly hoping you guys are following along and learn from not only my mistakes, my failures, but as my wins and successes as well. All right. So once we're done with this branding uh, tab, you can go ahead and close it. This tab is upload defaults. Basically, you just want to leave the privacy as public. The category, you can set it for whatever your category is, uh, how-to and styles, education, comedy, whatever your niche is. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at education just because it's I'm, I'm going to be teaching people something and they can just learn from it. All right. Um, license is standard YouTube license. Okay. Just leave that. Um, don't put in a default title. I mean, you could put in a uh, template, which I'll get 
to you guys later. Uh, there's an entire <laughs> video that I've got planned already for templating and making this faster for you to go. All right, and I've got some stuff I can give you guys as well. If you would like that stuff, just leave a comment and I'll message it to you or something. Okay. Um, tags. You don't have to worry about tags because you're going to tag each video according to the uh, video that you're going to be doing a sequel for. So don't worry about uh, putting in default tags. Make sure that you can leave comments. All right, comments is the biggest influencing uh, social statistic on YouTube right now is people coming in and giving you a thumbs up and leaving a comment. All right, that is the one of the biggest. Uh, they they call it the social engagement statistics. It's a it's a social signal that is boosting uh, videos on YouTube right now. All right, so as far as the the engagement signals go. You definitely want to have comments going. All right, good or bad, you want to go in and comment. Even just be nice and just say, "Hey, thanks for your opinion," or uh, just just say thanks. You know, if they're being rude, just be like, "All right, cool." You know, that's that's your opinion. Um, don't be rude. <laughs> just just comment back and create that engagement. And then the video statistics, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm just gonna leave it public just so you guys can watch and kind of like figure out uh, as I go. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's total opinion, whatever you want. Um, you could show it, you could not show it. I personally think you should show it because people will watch based off of uh, the engagement in the content that's been viewed throughout your uh, videos. All right, so then you go ahead and hit save. So once you've hit saved, congratulations because your video is now officially done with the basic setup. Uh, we're past the dry stuff and you are now optimized to effectively compete with competitors, channels, and videos. All right, now this is literally the first stone on the giant foundation but we're done with it and I'm excited to be moving on. Hope you're pumped up for what's coming up next because we're going to be talking about batching production to get a lot more stuff done in a shorter period and to create more consistency. All right, it's the long-term game and this is how you play it. Simply put, batching production or batch producing is just a way of knocking out a week or a month's worth of content in just a short period, like a day or two. For example, in this video, I'm actually gonna be batching it with the other videos. So if you watch the videos coming out on Wednesday and Friday, I'll probably be wearing the same stuff. I'll probably look just the exact same. And the reason is they're filmed on the same day, all right? It's not that I'm wearing the same stuff you know, all week long. It's literally that my week's long content or my week's worth of content is filmed on one day. What batching does is it allows you to actually take the time to plan out just one or two days specifically where you can really focus on doing research for your YouTube videos on whatever topics you're gonna be doing the videos on, writing out the scripts, planning the graphics, and then actually getting ready. A lot of the time, even for myself, half the time I didn't do YouTube videos, I wasn't consistent because I just didn't feel like getting ready or sitting down and actually filming the videos. But now with batching, uh, after being taught that, I can sit down and I can just plan it all out. I can write my scripts. I can get everything set up and ready. I can get all prettied up, you know, get all get my nice shirt on or whatever. It's not even that nice of a shirt, but it's just I can get ready and I can just knock it out. And for the rest of the week, I don't have to worry about it. I just I can knock it out, get it edited, and then automate it, which I'm going to teach you guys later on in another video. If you want to learn how I automate videos, what I'm going to be doing, um, <laughs> leave a comment below because it's pretty awesome uh, you can literally knock out your entire week's worth of uh, responses uploads writing descriptions you can automate all of that stuff for your entire week all right so that's pretty cool that's what I'm learning right now and I'm gonna be teaching you guys later on if you want so most big YouTube gurus recommend just doing one video a week starting out all right it's not that big of a commitment you set one day up where you're just gonna you know do your research film it edit it and upload it and that's it all right and you're, you're just gonna film the four videos so they say just film four videos research them edit them and then get them uploaded and ready to automate to publish on the day that you want them to publish all right now me personally I'm gonna do a little bit more than that since I'm retired I have all the time in the world to actually sit down and focus I'm gonna be producing three videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday Today is Monday. I'm actually running late on this one, so I'll probably get this video posted on Tuesday, which is fine because I'm learning as I go. Nobody's perfect. I don't expect to be perfect. I don't hope you guys expect me to be perfect because I'm, I'm definitely going to let you down if you expect me to be perfect. But even more so, if you expect yourself to be perfect, you're going to be so critical on yourself. You're going to be so like demoralizing to yourself because you're going to be like, oh man, it's like, it's not perfect. It's not good enough. I can't release it. All right, don't do that to yourself. That's what I did for a long time. 
Um, just don't just don't go there. All right. Don't ever expect perfection from yourself or anybody. And life's going to be a lot easier in moving forward. Now, the reason I'm doing three videos a week, like I said, I've got my retirement coming in. And I good. I just I've worked. I've built something. I'm good, but it's not where I want to be. All right. And because of YouTube being such an awesome platform as, as it is, I have an awesome potential to not only grow my own income even more, but I actually can reach out and help a lot more people. And like I said, one of my goals is to help influence uh, positively, positively influence a million people. All right. Now, that's a big deal. But on YouTube, you got to think how many millions of people are watching millions of topics every single minute. All right. Now, that's that's crazy. But when you think about it, it's not that big of a deal on YouTube. People are doing it every single day right now. And that's one of my goals right now is to influence a million people to help them change their lives. Uh, <laughs> literally build systems, create income and design their life, you know, take charge of their life. So with all this time, um, I'm trying not to lose my mind. So I'm creating content. I'm starting to learn how to do this stuff, writing scripts and whatnot. Everybody starts somewhere like this guy right here started out in his garage. Look at him now. Right now. This guy, <laughs> you know, here in my garage, everybody knows who he is. Now he's here. And it's because of actually taking the time to build content, create value, create an audience, create relationships, and just scale his product and, and what they've been doing. All right. They believed in something and they pushed through with. So at this point in my life right now, I've got, you know, multiple income streams and now I'm focusing on becoming better at something that I need to do, which is YouTube. And it is a skill set that everybody that's working online or if you're trying to be an affiliate or if you're doing digital marketing or a digital product creation, whatever you're doing, if you're, you're doing something online, you should really make YouTube a priority right now. So basically, I'm just going to conclude batching. Um, what batching is, is you just take the time that you have, just set one day apart, do your research in the morning or whatever, figure out what kind of videos you're going to do, find the topics, uh, figure out what videos people are creating that you can compete with and then film them film however many you're going to do for the week all right or if you're just doing one video a week just film the entire month's worth just do four videos in a day if you if you film for an hour that's four hours and then you're done just edit each one if you even want to edit it you know some people just like filming and just uploading a raw video I would like to be a little bit more clean and professional than that so I'm working with video editing graphics design and I'm teaching myself all this stuff one, because it's fun, I enjoy it, and two, I really do want to be one of the best in the influencing area of affiliate marketing and digital product creation. Just get to a point where you can uh, take time to develop and build your, your content without influencing and affecting the rest of your entire week, all right? Nobody likes stressing out about stuff every single day. Just dedicate some time to it, knock it out, and you're done, all right? This is how you batch produce or use batching production to stay consistent with what you're wanting to do on YouTube. So the last fundamental tip that I have for you guys today, you've been holding out. I know this has probably been a little bit longer of a video, but the last tip is actually a solid strategy, which I just learned literally just the other day. And I've been studying it. I've been researching it. I've been planning it out. I've been building and it's called the sequel strategy. Now this strategy is actually meant for getting you more views, regardless of the size of your subscriber base in your channel simply by retargeting the views of somebody who's watching a popular video and then showing up as the next suggested video. All right. So instead of trying to optimize our videos to focus on ranking for searches for a keyword, we're actually going to put everything in line to show up as suggested videos to already super successful videos. So if you're excited for that, smash that thumbs up, leave a comment that you're pumped up to learn this stuff or whatever. Um, and let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, let's go. So the sequel strategy is an absolute ninja strategy and a method that I learned and I'm super stoked to learn it and not only just learn it and teach you guys, but I'm also even more excited to implement it and see how it actually works. So how it works, the sequel strategy, as I already mentioned, is basically targeting a already successful channels video that's currently getting views and creating a bigger and better version of that using the same keywords, a similar title, and even the, the same content. You're just creating something that's bigger and better. You're taking what they taught, what's working for them, and you're just expanding it even more. So if people go and find that video and they watch that video, YouTube looks at yours and goes, man, this one is so much more like this video, but it's bigger and it's got more context to it. It's got a bigger description. It's a little bit longer. It's gotta be something meaty. So if those people are watching those videos, 
YouTube understands what your video is about. It even understands what you're talking about. All right. Yeah. It understands about 90, 90, yeah, 90 to 95 percent of the words that you say. So that is a factor. All right. So when you talk about the similar uh, topics, YouTube shows your video as a suggested video. Now, if you show up as a suggested video, especially the up next suggested video on one that's maybe getting, you know, I don't know, like a thousand to two thousand video or views a day, a percentage of them are going to trickle over to your suggested video. Now, how crazy is that? All right. That's what the strategy is for. So keep an eye out on my videos. All right. Starting right now, I'm going to be implementing this strategy, which is going to be pretty cool. All right. I don't expect, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views. I don't even expect thousands, um, maybe even hundreds. All right. Most of my videos are between uh, 20 and 200 views. Nothing more than that. I've never used this system before and I've never used anything even close to it. So starting on this video, I want you to watch my views. And if my views start shooting up, this is working. This is what I'm doing. I am consistently using the SQL strategy. All right. Consistent content with the SQL strategy. Okay. I'm not going for rankings on a search result page. I'm trying to get suggested video rankings. Now, if I'm not getting a whole bunch of views, don't worry. I'm totally new with this stuff and that's expected. Okay. If I fail, I fail and learn. I hope you learn from it. If I succeed, I've learned something that's working and I hope you learn that it is working and that you implement it. All right. This is literally, it's like a case study. It's what I'm doing with you guys right now. So you can watch and learn as I grow. Now, bear in mind that when you're doing niches, you don't want to be too broad. Okay. Say you're creating a video on how to lose weight, right? You don't want to just go to YouTube and type in how to lose weight like this. I'll, I'll go ahead and pull this up. So I'm going to go ahead. and. So if you just go to YouTube and you just type in how to lose weight, there's going to be lots and lots of people that are getting like, look at this, like over half a million subscribers on Dr. Oz, Dr. Oz, uh, Mayo Clinic, you know, some of these guys, yeah, Dr. Oz, uh, some of these guys are super huge, but look at this, this person right here is on the top ranking page and they have less than 3000 subscribers, but they're beating people that have, you know, half a million subscribers. So getting a search result is possible, but what we want to do is focus on a long tail keyword. So let's say uh, how to lose weight. And if you just do that, type that into the search bar and hit space, it gives you ideas right there for long tail keywords. So let's go ahead and say how to lose weight with, and it'll say apple cider vinegar, uh, water exercise, hypothyroidism, <laughs> Vicks vapor rub, toothpaste, how to lose weight with tooth. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's say the ketogenic, right? How to lose uh, weight with ketogenic diet, okay? Let's check that out. So right here, this, this keyword is a lot more open than just how to lose weight in general. Okay. So it's, you don't want to be so broad that you're competing with everybody using the, how to use or how to lose weight, the, how to lose weight with ketogenic phrase is a much more refined phrase than just how to lose weight. Okay. I hope you understand that and pay attention to what I'm trying to teach here. So a side note, uh, everything I'm talking about in this video could be an entire video on its own. All right. Now this is probably going to be a decent sized video, but everything I'm talking about, I literally could teach an entire video's worth of content or two or three on what I'm learning. I'll even show you guys. So check out my notes page. I'm just going through and absorbing everything that I possibly can from literally every YouTube instructor, uh, course creator. I'm buying courses like crazy. All right now I've got 26 pages of notes, strategies, ideas, and I'm just getting started. So if you would like, I can go ahead and go back and recreate a more in depth training on each of these topics. Just let me know in the comments below what you want me to go in and really teach. You know, the first thing that we talked about was optimizing your channel for efficiently uh, competing with competitors channels. The second thing we talked about is the batch producing or batching production. All right. And then the third one we're talking about right now, which is the SQL strategy. If you want me to do a bigger training on any of that, leave a comment below and I'll let you guys know what I can work with. So back on topic, in order to show up as a suggested video, which I'll go ahead and show you right here, if we just click on this video. All right. In order to show up as a suggested video, which if you have vidIQ, you could just click that. And this right here, the up next, as long as it doesn't have an advertised slot, 
right? This right here is the uh, suggested video, okay? They they probably have very similar titles. They have the, the similar keywords and they talk about the same topics, all right? And I'm going to show you how to figure that out. So on this video that we're sitting here watching right now, everything you need to know about the keto or keto diet, right? The, the title is fairly vague. It's fairly open, which is fine. Um, there's no parentheses or bracketing, which uh, <laughs> is, is a side note. That's a huge tip. Uh, use parentheses and bracketing in just about every single title. Uh, look at the title of this video and you'll see that I use it. And for some reason, statistics show that using parentheses and bracketing is actually a very efficient way to get more attention to your title. I don't know why. That's just a proven statistic, so just try it. Just start typing stuff in. I'll talk about this later on as well. But for this video, very basic title, and if you hit the show more, there is essentially no description, all right? Like nothing. They didn't give anything for YouTube to go through and read and basically break down the content of that video, okay? They're skimping on YouTube. So what does that tell you? That tells you that this would be a very easy video to show up as a suggested video to, to rank for. You just write your description based off of things that you talk about that is in this video. And since this video is only six minutes long, you can do a 10 minute video, which increases your expected view time, which shows YouTube that somebody who watched this video is more likely to watch more of your video because you have the similar keywords, you talk about similar topics, the video is a little bit longer, meaning there should be more content, right? So once we understand that, let's go ahead and click over to this video that's the recommended one. So what you can do is you can go ahead and open this back up and we can look at the video tags. Now they used a boatload of tags, but they were all very closely related to uh, keto diet, keto diet, keto guide, what is a keto diet, ketogenic diet, ketosis, keto, what is keto, what is the best keto diet? You see what I mean? It's all variants of the very similar phrases, all right? And then, of course, they put in a few vagues or broad terms, which is just fat loss, intermittent fasting, um, his name, uh, which is his channel name as well. So if people search it, all right, and then here's channel tags, all right? So if we go back and we look at all this information for the same thing, we should be able to see a bunch of the, yeah, so keto diet, keto meal prep, keto diet plan, keto bread, keto Thanksgiving, keto meals, keto, what is a ketogenic diet? You see how it's like the same video tags, and then they have a, a few differences in channel tags. But what you want to do is take a bunch of these tags that are in the video tags between these two, and it appears that it's fairly simple to uh, take these uh, tags. You can literally just hit download and it'll copy a CVS of the keywords and you can just copy these all right you can just once you download it you can just highlight the here I'll just show you so we'll just download that go ahead and open it and what you can do is expand this and when you create a video you can literally just copy these yeah whatever and then you can just when you have a video you can just drop it in the tag boxes and it'll just put them in there so you could just do that for a couple videos um, just make sure that you're not using repeating keywords, okay? That's a really simple way to do that. All right, so basically, just to summarize on the step one of the SQL strategy, if the title sucks, uh, if the description sucks, but they're getting a crap load of views, uh, that's awesome news for you because you can take advantage of this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the three steps of basically doing the uh, bare minimum SQL strategy. All right, we already talked about the first one, which is trying to find a long tail keyword. All right, you need to find long tail keywords that people are ranking uh, the videos for, okay? Now, whatever topic you are searching for, one of the other things you should do is take that term, the search term that you're trying to find, and put it into Google Trends, all right? So for example, this video that I have right now um, is called starting a YouTube channel, parentheses again, all right? And then in brackets, I have strategies and tips. You see what I'm doing? Everything I'm teaching is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing as I'm learning, and I'm truly hoping that this is what really works, and this is what is valuable to people, okay? But what you want to do is just go to trends.google.com, type in your search term right here. You can just type it in, and it will literally show you if you if you hit that and then go to, um, so it'll it'll show like past hour or whatever. Just click that and go down to 2004 to present or whatever year it is right now. Just 
it, that's the longest one. People that are searching for starting a YouTube channel, it is exponentially growing. Okay, it's, it's on a good growth line. It's just it's a good term. It means people are going to be continuing to look for this more and more. And because I found that term, I was like, wow, that's actually growing really well. This doesn't tell you how many people are actually searching for it. So what I did is I went ahead and used a tool called Longtail Pro. It's just a you can just use any keyword tool basically. So right here, the the keyword starting a YouTube channel, the one that I just typed in, right here it has 6600, so 6600 monthly search volume. And that's pretty good, all right? And then if you go to Google really quick, so we'll just go ahead and go to actually I'm going to create a uh, incognito so that there's no uh, cookie data tracking or anything that will like influence the search engine so I'm gonna go ahead and type in starting a YouTube channel alright so this right here is gonna give you the top videos that rank for it as well as uh, websites so these are the videos that I'm basically competing with for this this starting a YouTube channel now I don't expect to do anything too good I'm just doing this to show you guys what I'm doing uh, where I'm gonna start going and I'm gonna really compress the videos a lot more but this is it this is this is <laughs> literally how I'm gonna be doing this from now on just so you guys know and can follow along so another thing you can do uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to youtube.com right and when you're at YouTube you can just go into the the search bar and you can just type in and I recommend doing research in a um, if you're just trying to find topics or look at suggested videos do it from an incognito window in Chrome that way your uh, search history doesn't influence what shows up for the results. All right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, how to become an affiliate marketer. All right. So this right here is going to show up as these videos. Uh, we already talked about this guy. It's He posted this one year ago and there's a hundred thousand or we didn't talk about this guy, but we talked about the strategy, right? So we're just looking at this stuff one year ago and there's... 639,000 views. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this guy's channel. He's got 170,000 subscribers, right? But this video right here has almost three quarters of a million views. That right there is a hot video that I would want to target. And then, of course, there's Deadbeat Super Affiliate. That's the guy we already talked about. Um, and then you can just look at these and just look at how many hundreds of thousands of views. You know, right here is 92,000 views. And these people, they, they don't have millions of subscribers to get these kind of views right this is literally people just searching for it so i'm gonna go ahead and use this guy as an example i'm just gonna go ahead and click over to his website i'm, my website. I'm gonna mute that guy because he's loud what's up guys this is a dude talking about his channel and whatnot all right so right here we can see that his keyword is how to start affiliate marketing he could even be doing how to start a affiliate marketing for free and in the first sentence a good uh youtube seo trick uh, which is search engine optimization a good tip for that is to put your primary keyword phrase in the first sentence of your description which is right here boom affiliate marketing or affiliate marketing for free now what I want to go ahead and do I'm actually gonna switch this back over to my other YouTube because I don't have vidIQ on um, when you're an in incognito, uh, your vidIQ won't work. So you'll need to open it up in a standard window. All right. So right here, I can come down and I can see his video tags and his channel tags. How to make a WordPress website, how to start a blog, how to make a WordPress website 2017. So his tagging is not even on point. All right. And this guy's video is just exploding. Okay. So just understand that, that it, when you're keeping this stuff clean and you pay attention to the little foundation of seo and optimization you can absolutely blow people out of the water all right all we got to do if we look at his description there's there's a decent description but you want anywhere from 200 to 300 words basically outlining what you're talking about in the video and you want to have a uh, solid title with the brackets and the parentheses in your phrase and you want to use some of these if not all of the video tags all right and then add a few of your own okay so that right there is basically how you research and break down somebody's video all right the things that i would write down as far as uh what you need to write about of course you're gonna have to watch the video once you find one that you're gonna want to compete with watch the video write down key points that they talk about talk about the same things you might want to elaborate on some of them or you know expand the the 
conversation a little bit more, add some extra stuff, add some more tips or strategies or discussions or insights, whatever. Just expand it a little bit more, and you're gonna want down. You're gonna want to write down the or the video time, the length of the video, because you're gonna want to add a few minutes to that as well. Now we're gonna move on to part two of the sequel strategy and this is what you got to do for the second step the second step of the sequel strategy is creating a bigger and better video like we've already been talking about just like the name says we're literally creating a sequel to a video that is already getting results and getting a lot of attention okay we're just creating a sequel for that uh, video or those set of videos if they all have very close video tags and whatnot all right so here's the sneaky ninja part Instead of optimizing our videos as new channels for search results from search terms, we're actually going to optimize our videos and our channel to literally uh, show up as suggested videos and channels and siphon and steal those views from the bigger channels. All right. And it's, it's absolutely crazy, but this is something that actually works. And this is, this is why I'm so stoked about it. We're, we're just going to steal from already successful channels. I mean, it's like, whoa, <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Just went crazy for a little bit. Anyways, like I said, to create a, be a, better, a, a bigger, better video, if I could talk, uh, just add a few minutes, elaborate, just expand on it, uh, use a better title with the same keyword, write a better description with the, with the same keywords kind of sprinkled throughout, um, and then use an awesome thumbnail, which I'm going to teach you guys. I think I am going to do a big video on the sequel strategy alone, but for now, I'm just hitting you guys with what I'm going to be doing before I actually start knocking all this stuff out. So this is a huge video, a lot of recording, but we're going to get through it. Also, another point to creating bigger, better videos is write a script. Yes, this video is scripted. I'm not memorizing anything. I wrote an outline. I filled in what I want to talk about. And I have sentences literally right here. Here, I'll even show you. Right here is the script for the video that we're going through, right? Optimizing. And as I'm going through it, I'm literally just saying complete, all right? And then I move on. I look away. I read it. I just make sure I know what I'm talking about. So right now, you guys can see what's coming up. But right here, it says, yep. This is 100% scripted. I write it out. I only memorize one sentence or two at a time. And it's crazy, but it works, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm just, I read a sentence over here and then I say it to the camera and then I read another sentence. I say it to the camera and then I go in post recording. I'm just clipping it out and I'm just making it look like a snappy, awesome video with nothing between these words. All right, that's how this works. Lastly, you're going to want to use a thumbnail that really stands out. There's a technique that you can use. Just open up a new window like this, a uh, incognito window. And when you find a YouTube video that you want to basically, uh, hang on, let me see if I can. Okay. So if you go to that video that you want to compete I'm for, right? My Wix site. Shut up. All right. <laughs> so what you want to do is say you want to compete for this video, right? You want to compete against this guy. Take a look at all of the thumbnails. I mean, here's like literally all of them have a person off to the side with big text somewhere, right? But some of these kind of blend in. So you want to stay away from colors that are white, red, and black. All right. You want to stay away from these colors, like a white background with black text with red lining, because that is the natural colors of YouTube you'll blend in and people will just kind of like train to just glaze over like branding and stuff like that. So what you like this, like don't blend in like that. So what you're going to want to do is create a thumbnail that absolutely pops out. Now, if you look at this guy, he's got the jagged edges and stuff and he does a really good job with that. All right. He's got a flashy car. It's orange. It stands out really bright. Um, and then he's got this big old orange arrow. Okay. That stuff's cool and it works. Just make something that stands out. This, this thumbnail, not because it's a car, a nice car, but this stands out way more than these do, all right? So think about that when you create your thumbnail. And then finally, step three in the SQL strategy is optimizing your videos, keywords, title, and description, all right? We've already talked about this. I'm going to go ahead and hit it just one more time just so you guys get it. Make sure that you're writing this stuff down, all right? The minimum that you want to do this video for is 10 to 15 minutes. All right. This is because it increases your expected watch time. So if somebody if, say you have a 10 minute video, right? And your average watch time is 50%. It's five minutes, right? So if that's your average view time or percentage, if your video is 15 minutes, 
your expected view time is seven and a half minutes. All right. So if your competitor's video that you're trying to compete for and show up as a suggested video, if their video is 10 minutes, you would want to do a 13 to 15 minute long video because your expected view time is quite a bit more than theirs. All right, so this is a big point is just make sure that you're adding just a few minutes, which increases your expected view time. That's a huge factor that YouTube wants to look at. Again, this is a huge topic, this whole strategy, like I'm, I'm learning it and it's just, there's so much to talk about. If you want me to do an entire, like a full length, maybe even like an hour long video on it, leave a comment below and let me know. All right, it's, it's a lot of value and I'm trying to keep it so, uh, short and sweet in this video, but it's not proven to be very easy. So anyways, once it's all said and done, after doing those three steps, you're going to have a video that is optimized, not for search results, and it still could show up for those search results. Bear in mind, it still could show up, all right, but it is optimized to show up as a suggested video to siphon off all the views from the big name companies, big name viewers, channels, whatever, Blah, that stuff, okay? You are targeting successful videos and showing up and siphoning those views. Like I said, just keep watching my videos. I'm actually using this strategy as a complete backbone for everything I'm doing over the next six months. I'll probably do it consistently for three months. So at three videos a week for three months, that's going to be 36 videos that I'm doing this. Just nothing else. I'm just focusing on the sequel strategy for 36 videos over the next three months. I might do the six months. That is my long term plan, but we'll see how it's at. Uh, after three months. All right, so watch my videos. If my views start shooting up, it's because what I'm teaching you guys is working for me. All right, it's that simple. <laughs> it's just I'm trying to say what I'm teaching you, I am implementing. And if it's working, it should work for you. Just implement it and just stay consistent and just dedicate to learning and growing. All right, as a side note, you will eventually want to start targeting keywords and trying to rank on first page results, which there's a lot of things you can do later on to kind of boost your rankings but for now you just want to focus on trying to get those views and build those subscribers and get them to hit that little tick box for on the bell icon which if you haven't done already hit that subscribe button and hit the uh, little bell icon so that you get notified of more awesome content i'm teaching you guys how to create systems you're going to automate the systems you're going to create incomes and you're going to grab charge of your life all right that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I've done uh, on a small scale. I'm not like a multimillionaire, but I have freedom of time. I would love to teach you guys how to do the same thing. So hit that little subscribe button, tick the bell icon, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so as a final bonus, I promised that I would tell you guys that stuck through this video, I would tell you why I am aiming at 50,000 subscribers, why it's such a big achievement to me to achieve this in 2019. But more importantly, I'm going to tell you why I can achieve it. So by using the three tips and the strategy that I just taught you guys, primarily combining them all together with one system, all right, what I just taught you guys, I know I'm going to be able to grow my channel. I know I'm going to be able to get more views. I don't know how much more, but I know through consistent work and consistent research and study and actually building based off of optimizing to target what's working for other people and showing up suggestedly, I know I'm going to get results. You might actually be watching this video right now because it showed up as a suggested video. If you are, if you were watching a video before and this was a uh, suggested video, leave a comment, let me know. Say yes, it showed up as a suggested video. That right there is a case study that shows that what I'm doing is working, all right? Now if you're just watching this video because you uh, saw it on a, a search result page, let me know. Say what you typed in and how you found this video and just leave that in a comment below. That, that would be awesome for not only me, but other people that are watching this video. They're gonna see that I'm showing up in different ways based off of what I'm teaching you guys. What I'm learning and I'm just literally regurgitating that information back to you guys as I'm doing it. Let me know. Let me know how you found it. And if you're just on here from my Facebook page, I really appreciate you coming in and watching this. It means the world to me. Every single subscriber is the world to me. All right. You all mean everything. And that's, I'm so thankful, even though it's just, you know, I'm just about out like 200 subscribers right now. That right there is amazing. And the fact that 200 people actually find value in what I say. So I, I've got 3,500 3, people on my Facebook and Facebook is so different because I can write a post and put up some links and stuff. And yeah, I make money and I've sold courses and I've sold a lot of affiliate products. And uh, I have like six different affiliate products that pay me really well each month. Right. So different things all add up. But being on YouTube, it's just it's such a blessing to have you guys here. So I really appreciate that. And I love the feedback. So the reason I said that I want to get 50,000 
subscribers in 2019 is because with those fundamental 50,000 subscribers, if I can produce the right content, if I can give the right value, and if I can help them, I know for a fact that they would be willing to share my information, my channel, my knowledge, my skills with their friends and family. And through 50,000 people, I truly hope to really influence 1 million people in my lifetime. Now, when I say influence, I mean that they watch my videos or they learn from me or they hear about something that I did or read a book that I wrote or something that helps them change their life, that helps them create a new income stream or helps them to grab more charge of their life and realize that life is as they make it. So why don't they just make it awesome? All right. So that's what I'm trying to do is influence 1 million people. And that's why I set a goal. It's a big goal. But even if I get half that's 25,000 people that I am able to help and influence. And yes, my income would grow with the value of the subscribers or with subscribers. Uh, so does my value grow, right? That's not my goal starting out. Yes, money is nice. But right now I'm able to take the time. I can do whatever I want right now. But to help other people is more fulfilling than anything. I truly hope you guys have a passion, something like that, that you guys can grab onto. As my channel grows, yes. Like I said, I hope my income grows as well, not because I just want to make all the money in the world, but more importantly, I want to change lives. That, my friend, is my end goal, to show people that there is more in life than living the 9 to 5 life, working a job until death do you part. My legacy is going to be built through my subscribers. Everything that I do is a legacy of what I leave behind, and I want to help change people's lives. You should have a goal that is so far beyond your own self and your own needs that people love what you're doing and you love what you're doing through every single failure. All right. It should be worth the struggle. All right. Quick recap of what we learned. We learned how to set up and optimize your channel for subscriptions, uh, for competing with channels, the videos showing up as a suggested video. You guys also learned how to batch content, when to schedule your times out, how you can literally knock out an entire month's worth of content in one day just by batching and just doing the research, filming everything in one day. Uh, you can do your editing throughout, uh, posting it or whatever. Um, just as long as you get all your energy and efforts put into one or two days and just knock the month or the week's content out makes life so much easier and helps you stay consistent. Thirdly, we learned the SQL strategy, which like I said, is the backbone of everything I'm going to be doing for the next three months. So the next 36 videos, starting with this one, I'm going to be targeting showing up as suggested videos to videos that are already successful or keywords that I know that I could probably take on as a small channel. All right. So the more studies that I do, I'm going to be telling you guys everything that I'm learning as I grow. I hope you guys are following along. All right. And then finally, I told you guys why I set my goal at 50,000 subscribers for 2019. It's not for me to make a lot of money. Yes, my money probably will grow as I show people and I give them value. Um, I do affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing has been something that I've been studying for over seven years now. All right. I've been doing uh, I've been creating digital products for three years and I've been fairly successful with it. All right. So I know that I need to make money for the time that I'm putting into these videos. But the entire purpose is to teach a million people how to change their lives, how to create a system, how to create incomes, how to change their life, take charge of their life and get out of the nine to five rat, rat race. Ugh, I can't talk. So if you found anything in this video whatsoever, informative, helpful, insightful, anything, be sure to hit that subscribe button, take that little bell icon and show up when you see another video be posted. Every single comment helps. Give me the feedback. Uh, I'm all about growing and hearing uh, truthful, uh, constructive criticism. If you subscribe and tick that bell icon, you're going to be getting the first and the best of all the content that's coming out on building systems, creating income, and taking charge of your life. I'm Nathan Earl, and you're awesome for stopping by and watching this video. Be sure to check out my next video. It's probably going to be something just as awesome. I don't know. Go watch it. Let me know. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you. Take care.